I think it's time to talk a little bit. Hello? Hello everyone? Welcome! Welcome to... The FNAF Plus stream, I guess? Hello. Sorry it took me a while to come in. I needed some time to retweet and do some other stuff. But... Glad to see that people like the reveal! Okay, so this stream definitely is at a point where I cannot even stare at anything in the chat. So, it's not going to be like one of the typical streams on this channel. I don't have any overlays enabled. I appreciate the super chats, but it's not currently the place to do that, though I would like to thank, I would like to thank Degon and Mr. Bones for doing so anyways. Uh, I was very nervous about the release of this page. Um, also, uh, this stream is obviously not going to be left up on the channel. This is just, this was just to do a little build up to the release of the FNAF Plus page. So, after this is over, then uh, this stream will be set to private. Anyway, uh, anyways, I would just like to thank everyone that came in. Uh, it doesn't really matter if you thought that this was just an error, or if you actually thought that it was a FNAF Plus teaser. Because either way, I wanted to keep it vague. You know, if I really wanted to make an official announcement before it came out, I would have, like, done it in the official channels. But considering that a lot of people might might expect a release of the game, I decided against that, because then people might have been disappointed. So keeping it nice and vague, I, th I thought, was, like, the best way of moving forward with it. But yeah, uh, it's nice, isn't it? First game on Steam for me. That's kind of weird to think about. I would like to thank, uh, I would like to seriously, seriously thank. Uh, oh, hold on a second. Yes, okay. I would like to seriously thank uh, Click Team for helping me out with the creation of this page. They were like, very, very, very helpful, very nice, very polite. Uh, they were great to work with, and they were very, very responsible in letting me know exactly what I should do to make this page the best it could possibly be. So I would like to genuinely thank uh, Click Team for uh, their help on this. Oh, oh my god, Two, uh, almost 2,000 viewers. You guys know that I'm not gonna actually play this game on, on stream, right? Like, this is just to announce the page. Um, I did a small little goof uh, at the beginning, but that was because the page was hidden before I could actually fix it, but... Uh, if you guys uh, didn't know, the game is still in development, as you can see here, uh, here on the page itself. Uh, you might have seen a little uh, release date up on the corner over on the right, but completely disregard that because that has actually zero basis in reality. Uh, thing with that is that 
Uh, Steam kind of requires you to actually put in a date to be able to publish uh, the game. The uh, thing with that is that since I don't have an actual real release date for FNAF Plus, I decided to just put a random number far away into the future so that uh, it would be clear that the game is still in development. Don't worry, it's not gonna come out in 2025. That's ridiculous. I mean, I'm pretty far along in development. Not far along enough to be comfortable with making promises of a release date, but certainly comfortable enough to not have to release it in 20 2025. Are you serious? No. Absolutely not. Well, uh, maybe we just should go through the page while we're at it, you know? Uh, there's still some people storming into the stream. Um, it's not gonna be a Q&A or anything big, honestly. It's just gonna be us hanging out and, like, discussing, I guess. I'll, I'll, I'll try to read the chat and see what happens. Uh, no, no betas, no demos. I want that game to come out and uh, not ha like have a have. Okay, for the future plans of FNAF Plus, uh, you guys already know that I'm finished with the teaser videos, right? With the big story-based teaser videos, uh, I make this. Um, I try to organize this page the Steam page and the trail, this uh, Steam wishlist trailer, I tried to uh, organize it as best as I could for the Five Nights at Freddy's 8th anniversary. Uh, <laughs> funny problem with that is that uh, Steam kind of rejected the page uh, uh, last minute. So that's... Uh, that was not good. <laughs> uh, we had to edit some things around. Uh, it was not uh, anyone's fault. It was not. Uh, it was mostly my fault, actually. Uh, I just needed to make sh uh, clear that Five Nights at Freddy's Plus was a separate thing from the original Five Nights at Freddy's. Steam kind of was being a bit um, temperamental uh, with that, so I kind of needed to adjust the page so that it made sure that this was a separate thing from the original Five Nights at Freddy's. Sadly, Steam does take like one to three business days to uh, re-review the page, so uh, that's why we had the announcement and the release of the FNAF Plus page today and not on Monday like I wanted to. Regardless, regardless, still, still came out on the same week, the same birth week, I guess, you know? So... That's something. Is Bonnie's AI good? Uh, good enough to be able to show it on the page. Actually, uh, here we can go through the through the screenshots and you guys can see. Obviously, this is the office. A render of the characters. Bonnie on the cameras. Oh, this is a bit too zoomed in, actually. Bonnie on the cameras. I had these renders ready, ye like, a year ago. Man, it's so good to finally be able to show people. Here we had another shot of the office. Another shot of the show stage. A shot of Bonnie looking at you in the office. A year ago? Yeah, Coca. These things take time. They take a long, long time. Though, honestly, it's also partly my fault that it's taken so long, because I've been focusing on college for the past year or so, and final year of college is just... Ugh. It takes so much of your time. There's also been other stuff that I've been... Uh, it's been taking my time from, but... I think after FNAF week is over, I think I'm gonna have plenty of time to keep working on FNAF Plus. I've been... I've been making some great strides. Uh, since the um, since a few months ago, so I'm very hopeful for the release. It's very close, uh, not close enough for me to promise any release dates, of course, but close enough that I'm pretty happy with the state of the game, uh, and close enough that I can actually show it and have a page for it. So that's kind of neat.
the outside of Freddy's. I like this render. <sighs> are, are we dangerously close? Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to say dangerously close because apparently, according to uh, some people, dangerously close is like years in the future. So probably, uh, I'd say I am just happy with how the game is coming along, and uh, release dates are dumb, especially if you're in the middle of development. Because if you promise something and then don't deliver to people, that is awful, and people are disappointed. You know, imagine if I promised that I would put up the FNAF Plus release, uh, the, the FNAF Plus Steam page on, like, Monday. If I said, don't worry, guys, I'm gonna have something very special for you on Monday on the FNAF, uh, on the FNAF 8th anniversary, and then Steam rejected the page, <laughs> and then Steam rejected the page last minute, and then I couldn't release the game on Monday. That would be, that would have been awful, you know? So, I'm glad that I didn't say anything, and we're here. Uh, slightly de delayed, but, you know, you guys didn't feel the delay because I didn't actually tell you. But yes. Uh, let's go through the page. Let's go read it. In the description. An official fanverse made reimagining of a modern horror classic. Watch those cameras. Make sure Freddy and friends can safely around at night. Prevent any damage to company property. And most importantly, don't let anything inside your office. Also, I have some little animated GIFs on the on the page. Didn't take me long to make them. I thought it would, they were neat. Uh, what is FNAF Plus? For those that don't know, maybe some people here don't. I honestly doubt that, but if they don't, the description says, Five Nights at Freddy's Plus is a fan-made remake slash reimagining of Five Nights at Freddy's by Scott Coffin. Originally released in 2014. Uh, officially licensed and published under the Fazbear Fanverse Initiative. A brand new take on Five Nights at Freddy's, plus some more! Featuring completely remade visuals, new character designs, remixed survival mechanics, new camera animations, expanded secrets and rare events, and loads of bonus post-game content and, new, and a new interpretation of the original story. A game built to surprise and scare new both newcomers and veterans of the FNAF series alike. Uh, no subtitles? Yeah, I'm still working on the subtitles, Jacob. Don't worry. Uh, a modern horror classic, given life in a way that you've never seen before. Welcome to Freddy Fazer's Pizza. Spend your nights with us, working as a security guard, looking after the infamous pizza restaurant that brings kids and grown-ups alike their favorite foods and thrills at a discount price. During your shift, you'll get to work up and close and personal, but not too close, with our beloved animatronic entertainers, Freddy Fazbear, Bonnie, and Chica. Just keep an eye out on those cameras, make sure our robot friends can safely wander around at night, prevent any damage to company property, and most importantly, don't let anything inside your office. <laughs> Trust us, it's a long story. You ready to survive Five Nets, a brand new Five Nets of Freddy's? Features, a reimagined experience that's sure to scare and surprise both newcomers and veterans of the series alike. Revamped pre-rendered 2D visuals and character animations. Some people thought that the game was gonna be 3D. I made sure to clear that up years ago that at least I believe that FNAF works best when you're going for a sit and survive kind of gameplay style. Uh, so obviously it wouldn't feel right to have FNAF Plus be a free roam type deal. I, I, that would that would just make it its own different game, you know, at that point. Uh, five Nights of Terror, an extra special sixth night, and many more post-game bonuses to complete. An expanded custom night mode, with in-depth night customization settings, adjustable AI, which I'm still working on and it's kind of a pain at the moment, uh, and unlockable add-ons. A brand new plus mode for thrill-seeking fans looking for a real challenge. Uh, hopefully, there's gonna be a lot of people that are gonna have trouble with those. Uh, with that plus mode. 
Unlockable prices and trinkets for your office. If you've been keeping up with the development of FNAF Plus, I think you might have seen some of the trinkets that you can unlock in your office. Also, a multitude of user settings, GUI options, and an actual pause menu! Now, it's kind of ridiculous that the original FNAF 1 came out in 2014 and didn't feature any kind of options menu, or like settings, or anything. Really weird. I thought that was like a standard thing. Anyways, uh, Five Nights at Freddy's Plus is made by longtime fans of the series, including me. Uh, the game does not aim to be a replacement to the original, but to accompany it as a new spin on a beloved classic. Set in an alternate universe that explores similar events and concepts presented in the original through a new horror-focused lens. Uh, there's also a mature content description because this game is a bit spoopy, if you could say, uh, if I could say that, a bit of a spoopy game. I will pay a lot. Just tell me how much. Uh, Rainbow, that's actually not my wheelhouse. I can't really answer that. If I tell you that FNAF Plus is going to cost sixty dollars, that would be a lie. Not because I, not not because I'm going to change the price. Is because I'm not, I don't really design that kind of thing. Um, so I, I, it would ideally, ideally, ideally cost around the same as the original FNAF, but like I said, that's not really up to me. So, yeah, I can't really answer that. Uh, most of the times when I, uh, when somebody asks me a question, like when's a release date or how much is the game gonna cost, if I don't answer, it's not really because I'm hiding something from you, it's more because I, like, I genuinely don't know myself. So, that's one of the things about uh, developing this game that sometimes even you don't know the answers yourself. Yeah. Uh, let the let me let me clear the word ideally. Yeah, exactly. Swear to God, if I see a YouTube thumbnail saying FNAF Plus will cost $60 on release, I'm going to cry. Creator of FNAF Plus said that the game will cost $60 on release. Uh! Jesus. Anyways, uh, I, do, uh, I do need to prepare for an the actual stream that I'm going to do today. Uh, if you guys don't know, because I think most of you came just for the FNAF Plus news, but uh, I'm actually doing a FNAF Week event on this channel to celebrate the 8th anniversary of Five Nights at Freddy's. Uh, we played uh, The Joy of Creation uh, two days ago. We played uh, Those Nights of Rachel's two days ago. Yesterday, uh, we played uh, the Day Shift of Freddy's trilogy, or at least the first two games. And today, I'm going to pl be playing Tycon Sons and Fast for Entertainment Storage. And that's going to be happening in 30 minutes, so I will probably go now to get ready for that. Uh, check if there's anything left to do, anything left to edit, um, maybe like post some other stuff on Twitter. Uh, remember to follow the project, by the way, uh, on Twitter, at FNAF Plus. Uh, if you want to focus on FNAF Plus news, uh, just just follow the FNAF Plus Twitter account. Don't follow me, because I post whatever else. You know, I, I, I don't really focus on FNAF Plus much. So if you want to know the official news for FNAF Plus, always follow the Twitter account first. FNAF Plus Twitter account. Uh, but yeah, uh, thank you guys for coming to this very short stream. Uh, it'll be privated, like, in a few minutes, but uh, glad to have you around. Uh, we did a little trolling today, I guess you could say that, but I'm glad that you guys liked it. So, see you in 30 minutes, okay? All right. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for, thank you to the members, and thank you to the newcomers that just came in just to see the stream, to see what the hell was up. Uh, very glad to have you all. See ya! Bye-bye!